in this lesson, we're going to study the takeout double, one of the most useful but underused tools in the game of bridge. In our first scenario, South has opened the bidding one club and we're sitting West. Take a look at that. We've got a nice opening hand. But we can't bid a suit because as an overcaller, we'd be showing five good cards. There is, however, a perfect solution. Double. That is termed a takeout double in the sense that partner must take out the double and bid one of the other suits. And in order to double, you should try to satisfy the SOS criteria. SOS stands for S, support three or more cards in all the other suits. O, opening points or more. S, shortage fewer than three cards in the suit opened. And this is the perfect shape, 4 4 4 1, with a singleton in the suit opened. Let's change it a tad. Well, not quite as perfect this time, without four cards in both the unbid majors, but the hand does satisfy the SOS criteria. Double. Now, here, theoretically, you don't quite satisfy the SOS criteria. You have fewer than three cards in diamonds and three cards in their clubs. However, because you've got four cards in both majors, I would definitely recommend a takeout double. Now, we're going to see this played at the table, following Caroline, East. So the bidding has gone, one club on Caroline's left, double from Nick, her partner, pass on her right, now Caroline. Well, she knows her partner has at least three cards in spades, which means they have a spade fit. And she knows her partner has an opening hand or more, which means she has enough values to go for game. So, hey presto, Caroline jumps straight to four spades. That was nice. Now I'm going to make a change to Caroline's hand to make life a little bit trickier for her. Same start to the bidding. One club on her left, double from Nick, pass on her right. Now she knows she's got the values for game, but she doesn't know which game. Partner must have at least three cards in both majors, but he may have three cards in one major and four cards in the other major. She wants to make sure that she plays in the eight-card major fit. There's a clever solution here. And what Caroline does is she bids the opponent's suit. Now, if you bid the opponent's suit in an uncharted situation, the message is always the same. Partner, please describe your hand further to me. And here we can see that whichever major suit Nick bids, Caroline can jump to four of that major. So we're looking at Nick and his hand for his double. So one club, Nick doubles, pass. Caroline bids two clubs, asking Nick to do something sensible, describe his hand further. And what Nick now does is he bids his four-card spade suit, two spades and Caroline can happily raise to four spades in their fit. Perfect. 
Here's another scenario. In this instance, we've made Caroline's hand somewhat weaker. Now she's got 10 points. Same start to the bidding. One club. 